it's Ashton. And it is John, and we are back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Greater Germanic Reich, a Man in the High Castle by the channel The Templin Institute. Link is down below in the description. Very important to support the channels that you love. Suggestion for Rum Martin Luher Thing Jr. Luher? You mean Lube. Lube? Did I say Luber? You said Luer. Luber. Her. Thing Jr. That is a ridiculous name, but Martin it is awesome. Martin Luber Thing Jr. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Um, thank you so much for the support. You guys can also help support the channel. If you click on that link down below in the description and throw it down through streamlabs, you can let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video's link title, your email. Let's get to that video. On December 11, 1945, an atomic bomb was detonated on Washington, D.C., forcing the capitulation of the remaining Allied powers and ending the Second World War. In the peace that followed, the victorious Axis partitioned their conquered territories between them, ushering in the... Oh yeah, isn't this the uh, channel that is what if the Nazis won? Because a nuclear bomb never went down on Washington, D.C. Just so you guys know, John told me like a week ago that he thought Hitler was a good guy. The hell I did. How's it feel? Oh, he tried telling you guys in another video that I thought Stalin wasn't a bad guy. So I just had to do it to him. We were playing a chameleon true. game. And that's what her and Miles said. It was a game. We well, were supposed to lie, but I thought it was funny, so I told you guys, and God forbid I tell you guys anything. You thought I was serious. You even told them It was that. a joke. It was, I was joking, not what you said. You thought I was serious. Yes. All right, let's go. He didn't actually say that. Single greatest geopolitical shift since the Mongol conquests of the 13th century. This new order is now dominated by the largest empire the world has ever seen, the Greater Germanic Reich. A single-party totalitarian dictatorship, the Reich is based around the tenets of National Socialism, which incorporates a pseudo-scientific racial hierarchy with pan-German nationalism. In this system, citizens from every part of society are expected to subordinate their personal interests to the common good. Any form of religion, speech, or art deemed incompatible with the National Socialist regime is strongly repressed, with those in possession of such material harshly punished. Individuals considered to be a drain on society due to their ethnicity, political beliefs, religion, or sexual orientation are systematically eliminated through either euthanasia, forced sterilization, or other means. Even loyal citizens of the Reich, if afflicted with certain medical conditions or disorders, are subject to this same policy. The capital of the Reich is Berlin, nearly completely reconstructed following the conclusion of the war to the specifications of Albert Speer. The city is based around a series of monumental architecture, most notably the immense domed Volkshalle, or People's Hall, which houses some of the most important governmental ministries and provides a venue where the state's leadership can address an assembly of over 150,000 people. The Volkshalle is also the official residence of the Führer, who serves as the Reich's supreme authority. Other important state bodies include the Reichstag, the legislative branch which convenes in a neighboring building of the same name, reconstructed following its destruction by supposed communist like. elements during the tumultuous 1930s. The German armed forces are known as the Wehrmacht and consist of the Heer, Luftwaffe and Kriegsmarine, the Army, Air Force and Navy respectively. These organizations are often at odds with several paramilitary groups, most notably the Schutzstaffel, which operates its own military divisions and intelligence services. These units... Are they really called the Schutzstaffel? Or the shoot stuffle? They shoot stuff. They call the shoot stuffle. Come on, that's pretty. Operate outside of Wehrmacht authority and are subordinate only to the leadership of the National Socialist Party. The Greater Germanic Reich's territory is enormous, stretching from the Ural Mountains in European Russia to the Amazon River in South America. Rather than administering all these territories directly, however, the state makes use of several puppet governments tasked with enforcing the directives of the Greater Reich. 
Many of these administrations, such as the governing body of North America, maintain their own capitals, armed forces, and even national insignia, but remain completely subordinate to the Greater Reich and must acquiesce to organizations like the SS whenever required. These territories are also heavily dependent on the Greater Germanic Reich economically and provide large markets for German innovations, such as jet aircraft, advanced public transit systems, and rocketry. The Reich's technological edge has been the primary method by which it established itself as the most powerful nation on Earth. Since its formal victory in 1945 and the suppression of the last resistance elements in the Americas in 1947, the only genuine threat to its continued existence has been the Japanese-led Greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere. Tensions have risen since the end of the Second World War, and these once nominal allies are now locked in an ideological struggle to determine the fate of mankind. The Reich maintains a sizable technological lead and remains in sole possession of atomic weaponry, and it is for this reason that many within German high command propose a preemptive strike on the Japanese before this advantage disappears. Amidst this crisis, different factions within the Greater Germanic Reich jockey for position as the health of the Führer begins to deteriorate, all while citizens across the Americas nervously go about their lives, knowing full well that in the event of any conflict between these two superpowers, their cities would be amongst the first targets. Even as the Reich edges closer to nuclear war, a curious new threat has emerged that might be more devastating than any atomic bomb. A series of films have been uncovered that show a world that might have been, a world where in 1945, the victorious Allied forces achieved total victory over Germany and its allies. Too sophisticated to be simple forgeries, these newsreels have become highly sought after by Adolf Hitler himself, horrified by what he sees and what these films might represent. For fate is fluid, but destiny is in the hands of men. What? The Templin Institute investigates alternate worlds and realities. Oh, if you've enjoyed... That was pretty good, though. I mean, that was pretty good. It uh, gets you for thinking, I guess. Graphic design of what it would look like. But yeah. thank God that didn't happen. Oh, God. Also, it's kind of cool they put that twist that they found, like, the mo or the films of what would happen. Because, what does that mean? Uh, alternate realities are possible in that reality. It's been proven. Yeah. Something like that. Um, guys, if you like that video, go and subscribe to the Templin Institute. Link is down below. Have we, we've seen videos from this channel before, I believe. Probably like three or four. That name sounds familiar, yeah. Well, it's the voice. Like, I can tell by the, the voice. The way it's played out with like a video game HUD around mm -hmm. the whole thing yeah. and whatnot. Yep. Yeah. No, that was good. It was interesting. Yeah, it was. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.